Ness had a dream. It was a very clear, a very strange. Long, far east. The Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Prince Pooh. Time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the pal to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Oh, would you look at that? I'm Pooh. I have zero dollars! A tiny ruby, what does it do? Old treasure from the- Alright, whatever. Whoa! There's a cup of live noodles inside! Whoa! There's brain food lunch inside! Whoa! There's a brain stone in- oh, a what? A brain stone? Miraculous stone that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accomplished just by your keep- This is accomplished just by your keeping this item? This is great because if you can't con if you can't concentrate, you can't use PSI. Cool. Also, I just realized I'm probably gonna have to split this off into two parts again. God, this is just like the story of Jeff. It's, <laughs> it's exactly like the story of Jess. Jeff. Use the treasures of Delam as you wish. Go in peace. Hello, is that you, Ness? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. I de <laughs> How was I supposed to know? He's a f How was I supposed to know? He was supposed to be the phone! <laughs> How? Jesus. Anyways. I kind of wanted to end it at finishing recording two episodes, but three? That's a little too much, man. Prince Pooh, you are my favorite. <laughs> Gee, somebody blushed on me in a video game. Cool, I feel so accomplished right now. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Pooh is a little bit slightly faster than everyone else. What's the stats, actually? Oh, not bad, not bad. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? We have anything interesting going around here? Anything at all? Don't know what you just said, and I'm not even gonna bother trying to do it. Oh, Prince Pooh! I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? So lonely without you. Okay. Please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. There's a treasure there. There's a treasure there. Whoa! There's a bottle of water. Well, at least you have bottles of water here. Wait a minute. What did it even do? What is. Out of curiosity, what does a bottle of water do? When you drink it, you're. Your power point slightly increased? Bro, I could have been buying bottles of water all this time and I didn't? Oh, Prince Pooh, do you- Uh, I'm not gonna say it, but sure. Happy me. Uh, what if I say no? What if I- <laughs> What if I say no? I knew it. Training changed you. I'm jealous of your training. Man, Pooh over here gets all the bitches, doesn't he? <laughs> doesn't he? He gets all of them and I can't even pull one. Just ate some roasted garlic and ate it. So the room still stinks. Eh, thank god I'm not in there. And I don't even have a town map. 
I heard that Prince Pooh is deeply into mood training. I want to help him if I can. Again, I'm in the house. For sure. Whoa, there's a jar of deli sauce. Use it by sprinkling over food. God, it's, it's just more condiments. You know that you do do every. Wait, you know, you know that you do do everything well, right? Do do. Oops. Say, hey, Principal, are you still popular with the girls? I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. I'm telling you, Pooh gets all the bitches and I get none. What the fuck? You are such a hunk. The Lam restaurant, we accept dollars. Whoa! There's a bowl of rice gruel inside. Whoa! There's a bottle of water. I'm just taking everything, aren't I? We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like to do? I have nothing. Wish I could recover my power points by even just by drinking water. Even though I have never seen him before, I heard that the prince can do that. Guess I need more training. By the way, just what is psychic points anyways? Well, psychic points is just what I told you. It's psychic points. Assuming my training has to be on the left. This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. We can make your mind bl blank and learn the true meaning of Mu. You'll get passed through. Mu is Mu. I'm guessing training is on the right. As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. These are rabbits? I thought they were like some sort of like... I don't know, Eastern gang that are just here to like try to cause trouble or whatnot. But no, it's just statues of rabbits. Cool, am I gonna have a rabbit eraser? <laughs> am I gonna have a lucky carrot that I can give the rabbits? You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed mood training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Cool. <laughs> cool. He just dipped. Alright, Pops. What do I got here to do the train? Ah, Prince Pooh. I'm a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. I'm assuming that I'm just gonna have to stay here, right? There's no reason for why I should get up from here and stop meditating, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Prince Pooh. I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, I started coughing after I said that. Oh my god. I need some water. But I'm too busy gaming. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh. You cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. You accept this. Ah, Prince Pooh. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. Somebody cued the end of everything at the end of time, or something where it was like that. By floating words through the air, I must ask you. Do you care if I take your eyes? You want to live 
in eternal darkness. I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh. Now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Hey, you thought you could break my legs? My legs are still fine. They're still great. I'm still able to walk with them. You old fart, you didn't do shit. Anyways, I can't imagine what would happen if you actually lost all your senses. Like, that's just as scary to me as getting dementia. What do we have back over here, people? I am Prince Pooh. I am the greatest. What's good, Chief? Uh, Master. I am proud. You have completed your Moo training. There's nothing more to teach you from the Holy Writings. Prince Pooh. I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entities are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you have completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings, for the earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Yo, I leveled up! Let's go, baby! Wait a minute, was I always a level... whatchamacallit? Who realized the power of shield beta? Oh, would you... Teleport alpha? Wait a minute, there's different types of teleports? Teleport beta? What? Ooh, Pooh can teleport. Okay, my name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness! My life is in your hands. Cool! I'll take that. And Pooh has all of this stuff. Cool, I guess. Oh, would you look at that? He also has PSI Freeze and Thunder. Life up, healing, shield... Wait a minute. We have shield... Zeta? Zeta or something like that? And shield Beta. Teleport. Allows you to immediately return to a place where you've already been. You need a good running approach for this to work. Allows you to immediately return to a place where you've already been. You don't need a running approach to use this. It's also called the tornado teleport. Pooh! Can I use it right now? Yes, Pooh. Where can we go to? We can go to Dalam from here. Nice! But why would I want to go there? <laughs> Why would I actually want to go there? There's nothing there for me to get. <laughs> There's actually nothing for me to get. Also, look at this synchronized walking. Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Hold on. There we go. Look at this synchronized walking from these three. And if I turn around, everyone's going to get desynced. Whoa! Why are there zombies here? Hey, no, Chief. Why are there zombies? Where did these guys come from? Tough guy and his cohort? Overzealous scout? Now, who's gonna be the biggest bitch? I'm gonna assume it's a tough guy, so... 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's just go ham on this guy. Oh, he's hitting the plush. What the plush do to you? What the plush do to you? Oh my god, Pooh, you're awful. I am generally might actually have to use my is <laughs> your PSI power because there's no way no way that you'll be able to go by like this so weak I mean it's not your fault you just you barely joined my group and look at us we're all at level 40s and you're you haven't even cracked the 20s oh god damn it I have to deal with this chick again Lady, what did you do with your magic cakes? Doesn't matter now because I'm selling magic tarts, which tastes even better. What does a magic tart do? I need to I need to find out. What does it do? It says it's supposed to increase my my PSI power, but I'm fine. I still have a bunch of things in Escargo Express that I could just get back. And we got the mad taxi again. Why are you so mad? Mirror? What's mirror? Now I'm curious, what does mirror do? Oh, I, well I can't find out now because I just beat the shit out of him. Does this also mean that I have to buy shit for Pooh now? God damn, where's the shop? The shop is all the way over there! Fuck me! Alright, my good people, it has been two days since the last clip. Um, in my spare time, I thought it was it would be a good idea to... Be a good idea to level up who, necessarily. As you can see here, he's already at a level 41, which is kind of crazy if you think about that. Not only that, but Jeff, Paula, Ness, they're all at the le they're all at level 50s. They're all above level 50s. Who's the only one who's a level 40, but I just decided to go back to Winters because I was trying to find out what would be the best where would be the best location for me to farm like XP and enemies and whatnot, and I saw that on average it would be better if I just went to Winters. And so here I am. I'm back in the city of Summers, in the spoiled shores of Summers. And I'm stacked. Absolutely stacked. The unfortunate thing is that I still feel like Pooh is very under underpowered. He's very underwhelming. And I could be because of his stats. It could be. I'm not gonna lie about that. Also, look at that mag taxi. He's running away from me. He knows what's coming. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yep, and I won. He did not want to do a single thing with me. And anyway, like I was saying, Pooh is underwhelming. But that also has to do with the fact that he he doesn't have any like equipment or whatnot. Because if I give him any of this equipment or whatnot, let's take for example, uh, who can I give something to? Let's take this lucky coin. Let's say I give this to Pooh. And if I try to equip it. Boom. I lost a lot of defense. Off the get go. Look at that. If I if I have this lucky coin equipped. I just immediately lose. Like that. 40 defense. And. It, I'm. I don't think, yeah, I can't give him any of the weapons that I have because they're all like specific to people. Like Jeff has his gun, Paula has her frying pan, Ness has his bat. Even if I was to give him like one of those yo-yos that could be shared across everyone, I'm almost positive it would just hinder his offense even more. In fact, I'm almost curious as to trying that out now. And I would use Teleport Beta, but Teleport Alpha just because we are, we are in a very straight line. Let's see if my theory is correct. 
well, let's go all the way here to the Foresight Department Store. Because that's very, like, I don't, I don't want to say concerning. It's like, he's not that, he's not that shit, but it's just like, it's just, I, I just can't rely on him. The only thing that, the only, one of his only re redeeming qualities is the fact that he has PSI abilities such as like Paul and whatnot. Because I have the power of time and space on my hand. Let's see this in real time. As you can see there, my offense drops by 46. So it is pointless for me to buy anything for Poo. But the problem is, is, like I said before, he's very underwhelming. Like, he doesn't dish out the same damage that Ness, Paula, Jeff do. Just look at this, for example. Ness, 156 offense. Paula, 113. Jeff, 117. Poo, 86. Obviously, Ness is going to be the hardest hitter out of everyone over here. But the fact that Paula and Jeff can dish out equals amounts of good offense. Whereas Poo is just kind of, eh. It's just bad. And not only that, but Poo is just another person that I need to add on for, like, the bus fare. He's another person I need to add on for a hotel and he's also another person that I need to look out for stat for status ailments, such as like a sunstroke in the Dusty Dunes Desert, for example. He's kind of being an anchor to me, not gonna lie. You know, I'm pretty sure this is the only building I have not been to yet in all of summers. So, oh my god, the black phone is right there. I should have gone here instead of the goddamn hotel. Right now, part of the Scarabo Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Three dollars per person? Come on, lady. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Poo is just kind of really bringing me down here. Ram Raisin, the third casket. Ram Raisin's the fourth. Are these guys all called Ram Raisin? <laughs> Ram oh, wait. <laughs> Ram Raisin's the fifth training pot. Okay, it's not a casket. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. Looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Yep. Uh, you've I've seen you met the little fuck known as Pokey. Told him Carmen's lunchbox? What the? My G, can you move? Told him Carm's pencil box. Jordan Carmen's casket. He has a casket, a pencil box, and a lunch box. Why would Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Bah! I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. Uh, okay... I'm assuming that that audio cue was supposed to signal something to me. Am I supposed to go back to Mr. Spoon or something? This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here? Blake, begin me with that. What gem? So what? So what? He just handed me. Is not a gem. I'm going to really enjoy the cookie that I just got. Let's pretend this never. While I'm pretending, you go on. Wait, what? Excuse me? Did you steal something from me? No! Oh my god! What is wrong with my stupid controller? It's always drifting! What, what cookie? Also, what is this? Tiny Ruby, an old treasure from the lot. Okay, that. I guess I'm gonna have to give it to him regardless. Sure. Such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. I mean, it doesn't look like that ruby was of much use for me anyways. 
This frees up one spot for my sp for my storage, so. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> the Shattered Man. I do not like this. Oh man. Honestly, I should just play it safe. I'm gonna just use some PSI Flash. And um... Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm be- I'm playing this way too safe. What's wrong with me playing safe? It's just two enemies. It's just two enemies. One of them is right behind him. I'm thinking about this too hard. I'm thinking about this way too hard. Uh, healing, shield. Oh, would you look at that? Just use a brain shock. Because I really don't know who this guy is. And also, this music over here makes it sound like it's a sanctuary, so... Alright, let's go! He can't stop crying! Vulnerable to paralysis. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, you said paralysis, right? Well, I got this buddy. Uh, I mean, Pooh really don't have anything else to do, so... Oh, what about this PSI freeze? Let's see how that works. 349. That's actually not bad. Uh... PSI, uh, PSI freeze, which should, honestly, which one should I use? I'm just stalling at this point in time. Like I said, I don't know why I'm playing so, I don't know why I'm playing so safe. The, the mummy, it's just a shattered man. Woo, baby! That was a lot of XP. And there's still another one. You fool! It's gonna be doing this. We're just gonna be doing that, and we're just gonna be doing this. Just chuck everything at him. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Yep, gone. <laughs> I didn't need to play that so safely after all. I guess there was a mummy wrap. What does that do? Who has said mummy rap? Oh, I forgot. I got this Meteotite or something. He sold for a very high price. Nothing happens if you use it. A good explanation is kind of tough though. I didn't know that. I just got it one time while I was finding something and just never figured out what it was. What is this? If used as a whip during battle, the enemy will take some damage and stop moving for a while. Gone after one use. So, in other words, it sounds useless for me to keep. Excellent! Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? This experience is more valuable than a small gem. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by a helicopter. Fucking pokey. I also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. Who read the hieroglyphs? To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramids were protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and back again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark, farther beyond the lost underworld. Deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything. Waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Four, three, five. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Ness, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. We could finally go to Scaraba now. Hmm? Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. 
dropped it in your human civilization class. Haha. <laughs> Jeez, thanks, buddy. Not only did you steal that ruby from me, but you, know, you also helped that fuck Pokey up. I don't know if you told him about what the hieroglyphs meant, but hopefully Pokey doesn't understand a word that. Oh, would you look at that? Hello, is this Mr. Fork of the Scarabo Cultural Museum? Doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not... That mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who I am? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. Ah, uh, we got our boy with Mr. Spoon. There's some guy called Mr. Fork over in Scarabo. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this fine. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. I am going to assume that I'm going to have to be going back to Foresight. So, and I think it would also be a good idea for me to rest in the hotel at Foresight. So, I will be, no, not that. I will be right back. No. All right, bucko, I'm here. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Tapala Theater. You bring me her autograph on an eraser, then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can't get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. Oh, really? That that man, like, I, <laughs> he, so, he sounds like a simp right then and there. You don't care if it's an autograph on an eraser. You don't care if it's an autograph on toilet paper. I'm just out of curiosity. Why on an eraser specifically? So that way you can't. So that way you technically can't erase it. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, baby, baby, baby. Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow! You cute, sexy little thing, you. Baby, sing. I, this is... Wrench. Hey, yo, Chief, what the fuck are you doing there? Get off stage! <laughs>
Interesting, interesting. It's kind of ruined by that one guy over here, but I was wondering what was he doing? But I kid you not, I swear I've heard this song. <laughs> or and I never I didn't hear this song before, but there's just there's this one part of the song. This one instrument, this one sound effect part part of the song that sounds very interesting. Not interesting, but it sounds very similar to one of the songs that I've heard before. Future Pixel here. So while I did find out that technically the same sound effects, instruments, whatnot was used in Ghost Fight and Dummy and Undertale, there's this one specific song that I've listened to that actually reminded me more of it. And just for shits of giggles, I'm gonna play it as the outro music. You'll see why. Anyways, back to the video. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Jeez, that was a lot more easier than I thought it would be. Oh, and this is a bonus. You just... Slap me? Did I read that correctly? Um, it's like you aren't too busy. Make yourself at home for a while. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what that was. But I managed to get the autograph, which is what matters in the end. What Mr. Spoon wants. So maybe I could finally see that extraordinary thing that some he says that he has. Also... Well, why is it called extraordinary? Like every time I see it, every time like I want to try and read it out, I always want to say extraordinary. Hey you, over there, get over here. Five dollars? <laughs> what? No! I don't even have 20? An unusual specimen like you should be on display in the museum. What? What? When was it five dollars a piece? I kid you not. This, I don't remember it being five dollars. I remember it being like three. Am, am, am I crazy? Is this the Mandela effect? So I can't believe I have to pay the fucking fee again. Oh my! It is the Mandela effect. Okay. <laughs> I swear, I remember. The price being lower. You still want to go see the dinosaurs? Pay five dollars a piece for the entrance fee. Dog, come on! God damn it, though! Why would you just gatekeep me out of like a fucking museum? Like people are gonna actively want to pay you to go here. Actually, what am I saying? People do. Yes, yes, I have. I have the banana peel. I have it. The signed banana. You got it! That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph? Nope, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise. I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was also about to say, why the fuck is there a manhole just right here in the middle of a fucking museum? Oh lord. This looks disgusting. What do we have here in the water? Nothing. But there's a trash can all the way over there, so I'm going to assume that there's going to be some sort of treasure, some sort of untold treasure there. Never mind, I'm assuming these guys are just enemies. Alright, lay it on me. What do we got? Deadly Mouse and its cohort. Uh, just whack them. Honestly. There we go, Pooh. There we go. 
I'm gonna build a PSI fire. All right, I'll keep that in mind. The the mouse is vulnerable to PSI fire. So it looks like these guys are resistant to my physical attacks. I'm gonna build a PSI fire again and PSI flash paralysis hypnosis. Did that say vulnerable to paralysis? Open to hypnosis. Try this. Let's try hypnosis. I really don't feel like using PSI Fire. There we go. There we go. These are my boys. That's what I like to see, baby. Wow, that's a lot of XP, actually. And it's drifting again. That was a good amount of XP, actually. There's a croissant. A croissant. Thank you very much. Uh, is there gonna be something here in the water? Of course there would be. Anyways, what's through this door? There's gonna be more enemies. Lovely. Hmm. I honestly don't see why I shouldn't just wail on these guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a um, smash attack from poor one up it. Okay, maybe I shouldn't just wail on these guys. Maybe I should actually use my fucking PSI. But I'm sure we'll be able to get take care of this mouse immediately. Thank you very much. Maybe I should have also done a bit of hypnosis. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just, we do a little bit of hypnosis here in Earthbound. I only I only dislike it that I have to use Ness for it because Ness is my. How did he wake up? What the fuck? Ness is my hardest hitter. Oh my fucking god, he's also the one who misses a lot of the times! Can we please just kill it already? Okay, so I could use PSI Fire, I could use PSI Flash. Honestly, I might just go ahead and use PSI Fire because PS it's more... It's more if I use PSI Flash. Also, my fucking thing is drifting again. Why is it drifting? Let's stick around on the trash can. There's a broken iron. Pretty sure I've already had a broken iron before. Isn't the broken iron just like a def the defense spray? Or was it the slime generator? And there's more enemies. All right, what do we got over here? That was pitifully slow on how much it took me to go through the water. Broken spray. Okay, the broken spray. The broken spray. Why do I want to say cram? The broken spray can was the one that was for the defense spray. The broken iron has to be the slime. Either the slime generator or the stupid counter PSI. You know, which I still have no fucking clue how to use. And we continue walking. This pitifully slow. Alright, what do we got in this trash can over here? A Rust Promoter X. No clue what that is. Probably has to do something with like metal opponents. And the fucking room that's empty. Let's go. I love traveling all the way over here just for empty rooms. And let me let me guess, this thing is a one-time use only, is it? Gone after one use, oh, of course. You know what? I'm giving this to Pooh. <laughs> he needs something. The man needs something. What do we have here now? Bugs! Cool. Filthy attack roach. Interesting. I haven't seen these guys yet. A continuous attack. I already don't like this. 
gonna continuously attack, isn't he? Hey, that time he didn't. What are these guys' weakness? PSI fire, PSI freeze, PSI freeze. Hmm. All right. If if you say okay, wait, no, that's way too much. If you say so. These guys' defenses are really, really low. Like, look at that. I didn't even have to use PSI Freeze in the end. These guys just dropped like flies. They're roaches, but whatever. Anyways, what do we have here? A broken bazooka? Ooh, baby. I can't wait to give this to Jeff. Are you kidding me? It's a sanctuary guy? Really? Came all the way down here just to fight a sanctuary guy. This is a fifth year sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Plague Rat of Doom. Gross. I'm not even at my A. I'm not even on my A game right now. Hmm. Use PSI Flash. No reason why not to use. And what 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 can poop? I guess brain shock. That's the only reasonable conclusion I can come to. Because everyone has their shield now. And Flash didn't work. Cool. Ooh, I love it when shit doesn't work. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. No! Oh, I'm not gonna make it in time, I'm not gonna make it in time. Come on! Oh my god, wait a minute. I did make it in time, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so she's not dead. I'm still having I'm still trying to figure out when I hear people die or whatnot the sounds of it that there's a distinct there's a distinct sound that the game the game has once somebody dies it's just that I'm still trying to get accustomed to it because I'm kind of getting tired of traveling back in time and whatnot due to how many times I die so I'm just trying <laughs> uh a neat little trick that I find out is that as if I'm able to heal them before their HP drops down to zero, then I can still technically, you know, save them. So, oh, there's that. Let's see. I don't want to use thunder because it's not going to be worth it. Let's see how much freeze damage that is. 202, not bad, not bad. You gotta be kidding me. That's nothing. Come on, Paula. Yes, sir, Jeff. Yes, sir! <laughs> Multi bottle rocket! Oh. I don't have any more of them. Fuck. I probably should have. Probably should have thought about this earlier. Oh, well, that's my aim game. That's my A game. Multi bottle rocket. Would you look at that? What kind of shard is this? And I was actually thinking, I was like, why the hell isn't there like a your sanctuary in or side? Now that I'm thinking about it, didn't I say earlier on like an earlier episode uh, that this could have been the your sanctuary location? Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this is my place. Maybe it's your place. A uh, your sanctuary? Dun dun dun. I saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. It's the sound so for the melody of Magnet Hill. Whoa! There's a carrot key? What the fuck is a carrot key? Why is this all behind everything? 
Seriously. Oh, and I have to go through this whole thing now again. God damn it. Move your freaking barrels! Wait a minute, I just thought of a giga. giga chat idea. Okay. This might not work, but you never know. I can't teleport? Really? Okay, I just I guess it's just not gonna work, period. Now I have to go through this entire thing all over again. Maybe catch a few enemies off guard, like that. But in the meantime, I guess I will be right back. Alright, so after a lot of looking around, a lot of research and whatnot, I'm back here in the city of Summers. I took my rest and whatnot. And I did just a little bit of inventory keeping and whatnot. Decided to give a lot of the food items and whatnot to Paula. And all of the, the excess weapons as there's no other better way for me to put it. I gave him the poo because, well, he really needs them. Because my boy Jeff, <laughs> he's stacked right now whereas poo has got nothing. Speaking about Jeff, we got this heavy bazooka over here. Items for Jeff. Really dishes out a lot of damage to the enemy during a battle. Because of his explosive power, it may affect others besides the target creature. It can be used many times. Now, just so I was... Just so I got everything. Just so I made sure, made sure that everything was fine. I decided to search up what exactly they mean by can be used many times and apparently when I say it can be used many times, it's infinite. <laughs> so actually, I want to use the heavy bazooka and see just how much damage we're talking about. Oh. Wow, Two, oh. of course you do it to Jeff. Of all people, you would do it to Jeff. But 200? 200 per shot, that's... That's kind of good. That's... That's pretty good, not gonna lie. I guess if Jeff's attack ain't doing it for me, which... To be fair, I don't know why it wouldn't do it well for me. Jeff is pretty stacked. Holy shit, his offense and defense are better than that of Paula's, so... Jeff should be fine, but there really wasn't anything else for me to look at other than this. This is a carrot key. Special type of bunny's favorite carrot. Interesting. Oh, and I also sold a lot of things like that medio type thing, and now I'm at 12k. But if what they're saying is true, about a quote unquote bunny's favorite type of parrot, then in theory, I can go back to Delam. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Yes, sir, we're back in the east. We may be, we're the best of the west, but we're also the. Yeah. Uh, east, east, east. Rhymes with east. We're not the least of the East. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. If if everything is correct, then in theory... How strange, the rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. Yes sir, we got ourselves another cave. But I am not going to explore that today. Well, I'm going to be leaving it off here. My name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, memento mori, memento whatnot. And I just got it! We're the beasts of the east! There we go! Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.